Hello students of grade 3. Today we are going to learn on a new unit that is living things and environment, unit 2. First, we shall learn what is a habitat. A habitat means the natural home or environment of an animal, plant or other organism. Let us learn some features of birds. Birds have powerful wings for lifting their prey. Prey means their food. They have light and hollow bones. Hollow bones are those bones which have empty space inside and is filled with air. It helps in functions with oxygen intact during flight. They have web feet which help them to swim and close for holding and tearing flesh. They do not have teeth. Instead, they have beak which is used to tear, bite, crush or chew their food. Birds have streamlined bodies. Streamlined means smooth bodies which help them to fly in high speed. They have sharp eyes for hunting. We shall now learn about some habitat for snails. A snail is a shell gastropod. Shell means hard external cover. Gastropods are a class of animals that belong to the animal kingdom. They eat leaves, stems, roots and fruits of plants. They do not have teeth. They have rough tongue which they use it to eat the leaves. They have moist skin. Moist means slightly wet. They live under the rocks, stones, and leaves. If the environment gets very dry, snails move back into their shells. Snails can change the way they behave if the environment changes. Some snails are black and some brown. Some birds are adapted to eat snails. This helps them to have a good eyesight and can move quickly and have strong beaks. Animals in local habitats. Some animals eat plants and some other eat the flesh of other animals. They all live in a habitat where they can find food. Some of the habitats are forest, desert, grassland, woodland. Example like rabbit, horse, they eat plants. Whereas fox, lion, hawks, they eat other animals. Identification key. It is a tool or key that is used to identify organisms in a group through a process of answering yes or no questions about your organism. There are millions of organisms in the world and scientists have identified some of them. For example, here is a flowchart of some simple questions on screen. So the answers of each question serve as an important key and hence using these answers, scientists have placed them accordingly into groups based on similarity and dissimilarity of characters, example, body, structure, and habitat. This is just a simple example. However, scientists have used even more complex questions for classification. Several scientists have put a lot of hard work in classifying several of them, but you'd be surprised to know that there are still millions of living organisms that have not yet been discovered even today and hence remain unclassified. Next, identifying invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals which does not have backbone. Most invertebrates are small and hard to see. They hide among grass, plants, leaves, stick, and in soil. An insect 
is an invertebrate. Insects have six legs and can often fly. Ants, butterflies, green flies, and bees are insects. Before scientists can make a key, they have to observe the animals very carefully. An earthworm is an invertebrate, but it is not an insect. How we affect the environment The earth is home to more than 7 billion people. It is also home to billions of animals and plants. People, plants, animals need clean air and water. All of us need to use energy. We also make a lot of waste. People affect the earth in both good and bad ways. People, animals, plants all need clean air and water. Natural disasters affect the environment but are not caused by people. Wonderful Water Most of the water on earth is salty. This means that we can't drink it. Some people do not have enough clean fresh water to drink. We need clean fresh water to drink. We need it for our animals and for plants. We do not always look after our fresh water. Villages, towns and cities pollute rivers. People and animals make waste which pollutes the river water. The animals and plants in the river die and water is not safe to drink. Recycling can save the earth. The meaning recycling is the action or process of converting waste into reusable material. Humans make a lot of waste. We throw away clothes that could be reused. A lot of waste is buried. This pollutes the soil and the groundwater. Some materials can be recycled so that they don't have to be buried. There are different types of recycling. Glass recycling. The waste glass is used to make new glass bottles. Paper recycling. The waste paper goes to make new paper. Plastic recycling. The waste plastic goes to make new plastic things. General waste. This type of waste is buried and will pollute the soil and groundwater. Gardeners and farmers recycle plant material by making compost heaps. They piled up dead plant material. Microorganisms use the dead plant material as food. This is what we call rotting. As the plant material rots, it turns into compost. Compost helps plant to grow when it is added to soil. So class, that is the end of the topic. Thank you.